Well, it's great to be back. We're finally back up in northern Manitoba ice fishing for lake trout, which is one of my favorite things. And ever since they opened up the borders, I've been back up into Canada here twice. I was up here last fall deer hunting, and now I've been back up here ice fishing. And it's good to finally get back up here and do some of these things. But you know, there are some changes. You know, it's March 2022 right now, and things are changing rapidly. Now, one of the big things that's new is there's an Arrive Can app, which makes it pretty handy for crossing the border. You can upload it right onto your phone. If you had to, you could use your laptop or computer at home and fill everything out. But basically, you just plug in your name and your information, your travel information, port of entry, date that you plan on crossing, and then you have to just take a picture of your vaccination card. You put that in. And like one of the questions they ask is plan for quarantine if you were to come into contact with COVID while you're up in Canada. I always just put the address of the resort or the lodge that I'm staying at. In the past here, in the recent past, you know, we had to have a COVID test with negative results, you know, for crossing the border, but that's all changing rapidly. Whereas of April, you're not going to need the COVID test anymore. And so things are changing, but uh, the things you're going to have to show them obviously is your passport card or passport and then your COVID vaccination card. You know, so just assuming that you're healthy and you're not feeling or looking like you're sick, crossing the border has gotten pretty easy. You know, so before the border closing, you know, generations of Americans were coming up to these places to fish and hunt and obviously you know a lot of old traditions had to get postponed but it uh, doesn't matter if you're coming up on a flying fishing trip or if you've got a drive to camp that you like to come to every summer if you want to go to Lake Winnipeg and fish for greenbacks in the winter it doesn't matter whatever you're planning on doing up here you know just know that uh, you can get back up here and experience some of these memories that you know a lot of us frankly missed.